Laura, yes. thank you so much for joining me today. My pleasure. So excited to see you here in Denver for the Be Beautiful, Be Yourself fashion show. I'm so happy to be back. It's an amazing thing to be a part of. I have a neighbor um, who is a, a Down syndrome young man. Mm -hmm. And so I, when asked to come, it, it was a natural thing for me to do because I've seen him grow up and I've, I recognize the enormous impact in a positive way he has on the rest of the world and how much he has to offer. I'm just sick of having blood on my hands, Wendy. It doesn't bother you. You're so desperate to be the good guy. I read once you said you seem to play characters that people maybe don't quite like a little bit. That's true, that's fair. I hated you, I loved yeah, you. Good, I good. didn't know if you were my ideal heroine or just someone that was so crazy yep. I should never look at you again. Why do you choose everyone else over your family? Don't back out on me when we're almost done. Don't do that to me. I know that you agreed to doing the show because of your good friend Jason Bateman. Mm -hmm. What was it that he said that lured you? Because I know you love theatre. He <laughs> lured you back onto our screen. He did, he did. You know, it was really... I just sort of inherently trusted him for some reason, which maybe maybe could have been a very foolish move, but it was the right one. And, um, you know, he just promised me that we would have a good time. Mm -hmm. And he promised me that it would be a collaborative endeavor, yeah. which it isn't always in television. And it was, it was more than good was for, for all of us. It was really a, a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah, so then they, they become family too, right? No, they do. No, I know. I know, and we all miss each other. I think we're still grieving. I bet. <laughs> we're still, we're still, sort of. Um, and I knew it would happen. I knew when we were making it. I was like, when this is over, we're really going to miss this. Oh, I miss it. That's for sure. I miss you keeping me awake, well, thank stressing you. me out. Well, thank you. And obviously, going back to Jason again, he's got this incredible podcast. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, I mean, the celebrities <laughs> on there are just well, out of this world. It's also fantastic because whenever I'm really missing him, I can just listen to it. I bet. You know, and it's because that is that type of wit and that type of fast humor and yeah. you know that kind of very unique intellect is mm -hmm. is so him and uh, so it's nice you know I miss him I can just throw it on you never know you, you, you guys might give us a miracle in like another five or ten years mm. could there be a, an Ozark movie oh god oh, who knows like what would where, be something where, what would it be, be then? what would it be I don't know, I, know. I heard there was potential other endings that didn't come that's true so could one of those be revisited <laughs> I'll, I'll float the idea. I suppose it's his job to dance with everyone, isn't it? Some more than others. And it would be awful of me not to bring up the movie, oh, mm -hmm. the, uh, that is all movies at Christmas. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm talking about, Love Actually, I playing do. Sarah. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Sarah Sarah, and obviously your role in Ozark both seem to have problematic brothers for very different reasons. That's true. One, I have many problematic one, brothers One you murdered, in my pretty much, and yes. the other one you left the hottest guy on the planet for. I know, but I was loyal. You was very loyal. Yeah, loyal. Hey, loyalty throughout both. That's true. Okay, that's done. Um, <laughs> why don't you come upstairs in about 10 seconds? 10 seconds. You've been brilliant and I'll see you on the red Thank carpet you. Really as well. Really nice meeting you. Thank you, yeah, Laura. You bet.